Hello, grandchildren. Uh, I haven't shaved in a while, and my hair looks fantastic, so I figure that it would be a, a good time for me to talk about beauty. Everybody wants to be attractive, but not everyone is born being perfect. I've learned how to control it, but naturally I get pretty bad acne. Not, not like bad, bad acne, but it's very definitely there unless I do something about it. I grew up in a household with five sisters, so I definitely was exposed more to the girl side of growing up than the guy side of growing up. And all my life I've seen my sisters put on makeup and it seems really useful for things like acne because you can cover it up. But as a man in our society, I am not allowed to wear makeup. Or I'm not allowed to tell people that I wear makeup because people look down on that. Makeup is for girls, and if you're a guy that wears makeup, you're going to be called weird or metro or gay by everybody else that you come in contact with. Okay, not everybody, but there is a substantial amount of people who would think that that was weird if you were a guy that wore makeup. All the time people talk about body image issues with women and needing to be a size like one or whatever I don't I don't know how sizes work with women but uh, need to be really really skinny and like unhealthily skinny and look just beautiful and uh, I think that that is an issue people don't talk about how guys also have a bunch of weird social pressures on how they should look and act and everything just as much as women do I think that it's different than from women but it's still there and People just don't talk about it. That's his own can of worms to get into, and today I wanted to talk specifically about makeup. When I got to high school, I wanted to change myself a lot. I wanted to stop being as socially awkward as I was, and I wanted to start dressing nicer and looking better. Not that I've conquered either of these two things particularly effectively, but I was trying. One particular body image issue that I always had was having pimples and stuff all over my face, and how I wanted that to go away. So I started researching, you know, acne face wash and all that stuff, and I found uh, medicine that worked for, for my face. That helped a lot, but then there were still breakouts that happened, and uh, face wash will work after a couple days, but it's not going to immediately make your acne disappear if it pops up. I think it was some point during my junior year of high school that I finally gave in and decided to secretly try doing makeup. I wasn't completely clueless because I had been a theater kid all through middle and junior high school and you had to do makeup for musicals all the time. So uh, there was many performances that I had to do my own makeup before the show, put on like mascara and eyeliner and all that stuff. So I, I knew roughly what the general protocol was for doing makeup. So I went out and bought a ton of different types of makeup trying to figure out what matched my skin tone and what actually worked and what was the most effective thing to put on my face and what made acne break out worse. Uh, when I put it on, and I slowly started using it and learning how to use it and how to blend it better with my skin and make sure that it didn't look like I was wearing makeup. To this day, nobody has noticed or at least commented on the fact that I've worn makeup for the past couple of years, and I'm not sure if that's because I've gotten good at it or if because nobody wants to say anything. And also, it's not like I use a ton of makeup, and I don't wear it every day. I'm not wearing it right now, for instance. I use it very subtly. I lightly blend it over the areas of my face that currently have a breakout if it happens. Sometimes I'll go a month without wearing anything, and then sometimes I have to put it on every day for a few weeks because I just keep getting pimples everywhere all over my face. It's a very stressful thing, the fact that there's such a social pressure for guys not to wear makeup, and for girls to wear makeup. I think both of those are kind of ridiculous. It's not like I can change it though. But for the past couple of years, it's literally been slightly terrifying every time I go outside if I have makeup on because I'm worried that people are going to notice that I'm wearing makeup. It's just like everything else with changing the way that you look. You, if you want to get new shoes or a new shirt that make you look better, how is that any different than wanting to wear a little bit of cover up to make your acne go away? Because really, it's pretty much like magic. I don't know if you've ever worn makeup before, if you're a guy, but it's pretty much magic. You can wake up and look at your face and go, wow, there's like five pimples on my face and they all look awful. And then within five minutes, it's it, it gone. You can't really tell that it's there if you do it right. Anyway, I guess the point of this is, uh, I hope you guys don't have to deal with stuff like that, or at least not as intense. I hope that most of those social pressures kind of die down, and they probably won't. Uh, and if they haven't, know that I've gone through the same thing, and that I survived long enough to have grandchildren. So it's not going to kill you, even if it makes you very stressed out. You'll make it still. And I've got your back. I'll defend you if you want to wear makeup or whatever. So that's it. That's my secret. Um, I am very tired and it's starting to get late. So anyway, grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, we should drink apple juice. Because it's great. This isn't even apple juice. But it is delicious. Talk to you guys next time. Mm -hmm.